taking advantage of all these powerful home remedies, lifestyle and dietary changes together, many patients have delayed kidney dialysis by years. Some have even completely avoided it. Hello, Catherine from Double Kidney here. Welcome to our journey together to a better kidney health. There are five things every single kidney disease patient must absolutely do to stop the progression of chronic kidney disease. Because no matter what your doctor may have told you, dialysis is not the only outcome kidney disease can have. I've been working with people with kidney problems for eight years now and many people that I've met have been able to reverse kidney disease, some even in stage four. Today, I'll show you exactly what they are doing. Number five, manage your blood pressure and blood glucose levels naturally. If you take a look at what the most common causes of CKD are, the first two spots are taken by diabetes and high blood pressure. It is clear that if you have one of these or both, they are causing serious damage to your kidneys. And while taking the medications your doctor may prescribe, it's really important, there are natural remedies that can help. If you need to manage high blood pressure, garlic is one of the best home remedies you can use. It works fast and can help manage both high blood pressure and cholesterol. Magnesium, both from supplements and foods, is also going to do wonders for your blood pressure. According to recent studies, every 100 milligrams daily increase in dietary magnesium was linked to a 5% reduction in high blood pressure. And you can find magnesium for very cheap. Omega-3 fatty acids. This is another remedy everyone should be using. In the right dosage, this is a powerful anti-inflammatory with blood pressure lowering and triglycerides lowering properties. Now, when it comes to blood glucose levels, what can really help is psyllium husk. This is the main ingredient of methamucil. It really helps, especially if you take it before meals. Green tea. According to a comprehensive review, green tea consumption is associated with decreased passing glucose levels and A1C levels. You can also find green tea as an extract, but remember that it contains caffeine. And also cinnamon. This tasty spice was linked to a lowered insulin resistance by several studies. And while there are many other remedies that can help, in my opinion, these three are a must if you have diabetes. And these three are a must if you have high blood pressure. And guys, if we take a look at this slide, we can also see an indication of how much these remedies are going to drop our blood pressure. It's clear that with these remedies, the results are going to be very noticeable. And for some people, even too noticeable. I mean, not everyone needs to lower their blood pressure by 23 over 13 or more. It will be better to also adjust the medications. This is why keeping track of your levels may be even more important than taking advantage of these powerful home remedies. How to do it? Number four, be your best health advocate. Okay guys, it's clear that in many countries today, healthcare is just another industry aimed at making money. And there's only one way to survive the healthcare industry. We must do diligent research and understand who is looking out for our best interests. We must know if what our doctors are doing is for our interest or not. And the more you educate yourself, the better you'll be able to advocate for your well-being and get the support you need. So watching videos about your health is a great way to discover new things, but there's something more you can do. The doctor's role as an authority figure is still deeply ingrained in the culture. I mean, if you want to participate in shared medical decision making, you have to do so when you are in the room with the paper on the exam table crinkling under your bare bottom. This can be an emotional situation and it's not always easy to make the right decision. You have to be prepared. What to do then? 
Maintain your own records. Keep your own health journal. If you are going to stand up to your MD and be an active figure in your health care, you need to know what works for you and what doesn't. And this can help. It's just a very simple health diary you can download for free right now. You will have to print some of these and fill in all the info and relative dates. There's a tab for blood pressure, one for blood glucose and so on. These are measurements that you can do by yourself and that are really important for the health of your kidneys. By having all of your medical information with you at all times, you can work with your doctor to reduce your risk for medical errors. Now, there's even a more technological way to do this. Recently, Apple released an update to their health app that allows you to store all of your medical records on your phone. It's not just a fitness app, it will let you keep track of your blood glucose, weight, heart rate and more. There are similar apps on Android too, for example, Care Clinic Symptom Tracker or My Medical by Hyrex Incorporation. Now, the health journal helps, no doubt about it, but it will take years to see the improvements. Here's something that will give your kidneys an immediate boost. A lot of kidney disease patients are using this program to improve their kidney function and lower their creatinine levels. There are some very inspiring success stories here on Double O Kidney. People are reversing their kidney disease thanks to what they're learning from this program. If you want to give a fast boost to your kidney health, you should consider downloading it. I'm leaving a link down in the description. Check it out to know more! Time for our number 3 now the alkaline plant-based diet. Okay, there's one thing you must know about the alkaline plant-based diet. It really works. And like the other four things of today's video, it's something you have to do. Your kidneys need you to eat this way. The reason is simple. Healthy kidneys are usually going to be able to efficiently regulate your blood pH level acid concentration by removing the excess acid you get from what you eat. But when you have kidney disease, it's more difficult for your kidneys to remove all this extra acid from your blood. All this acid will cause damage to your body and also put a lot of strain on the kidneys, a lot of extra work. This is why eating alkaline works so fast with results immediately visible not just on your labs but on your skin too. Not to mention that, as we can see here, the alkaline diet has to be plant-based. Now, the plant-based diet alone has a ton of benefits. It helps managing high blood pressure, it helps keeping blood sugar levels under control. And I know that not everyone with kidney disease needs to lose weight, but if you do, this diet can help. Plant-based foods are more satiating and more nutritious than processed foods, so your caloric intake is going to be lower, which is crucial to help an healthy body weight. And many people don't know this, but losing weight is one of the healthiest things you can do for your kidneys. Visceral fat, the fat we don't see because it's inside the body, is the number one cause of diabetes and inflammation. It really destroys your kidneys. Now guys, if you want to know more about the alkaline diet, I've made a video about it recently. It's up here. Number 2. Avoid NSAIDs, antibiotics and unnecessary medical tests. The human kidney is a tenacious organ, but some things are really going to damage it beyond repair. Taking NSAIDs is one. Aspirin, ibuprofen, nafrexen, and more may be very helpful in managing pain, but they should never be used daily. They are known to damage the kidneys, just like excess of sodium in the diet and drinking too much. Not sleeping enough is a less intuitive danger for your kidneys, but there is solid science linking sleeping less than 6 hours per night to a faster decline in kidney function. Another hidden danger are medical tests. I have seen too many people too many patients that were on stage 3 of chronic kidney disease and they have been pushed to stage 5 because they took a contrast during a test. And I know their doctors should have known better, but it still happens. In particular, I'm talking about scans with intravenous contrast, angiograms, 
like a cardiac angiogram when they inject dyes into your vein, in your hand or arm and MRIs. Very dangerous for people with kidney problems. And there is one more thing that damages our kidneys. This one has a special entry because managing it is not easy. Protein in diet. Number one, the VLPD. The VLPD treatment is mostly used for treating advanced stage pre-dialysis kidney disease. It's not very common in many parts of the world, including the US, but where it's used, including Italy, the VLPD is showing impressive results. I've met people who have been in stage four for 20 years without significant deterioration of their kidney function. And that's impressive. Now, VLPD means very low protein diet. It's a diet based on the notion that the kidneys are damaged by protein. Once you remove protein from the diet almost completely, the kidneys will improve. Now, this is not a diet you can self-prescribe. It requires very precise calculations and a special supplementation. If you want to know more about it, this video up here is going to be very interesting. Okay guys, as usual, a new video is coming next Tuesday and I really hope to see you there. In the meantime, keep taking good care of your kidneys and be good to yourself. This is all for today. Thank you for watching.